Do you really need to use parchment paper in the air fryer? Does it have to be created for the air fryer? Or could you just use something like this? Today, I'm gonna put parchment paper in the air fryer to the ultimate test. My name is Kathy and sure, you could call me your air fryer coach. Today, I'm gonna to answer all the questions you have and the questions you didn't know you had about air fryer parchment paper. You ready? Let's go. First question though, if you're not really a baker, you probably don't even know what parchment paper is. It's not to be confused with wax paper. Never use wax paper in your air fryer. Parchment paper is just an oven safe paper that's typically used for anything you would bake in the oven. Bakers like it because it's non-stick, it resists grease and water, and it makes cleanup super easy which you know I love. And nowadays you can buy parchment paper made specifically for the air fryer. It's perforated, which means it has all these holes already cut into it, and it comes in all shapes and sizes, so it can fit into almost any air fryer. You can usually find about like a 200 pack right around $10 on Amazon. If you wanted to duplicate this, which is eight and a half square, you could get 112 sheets out of this long 50 square foot roll. And that would cost you about $2.67. Let me know if you want to learn how to make these. I can do a quick video on it. And I'm going to answer your questions, which are why do I want to use it? When should I use it? How do I use it? And of course, the big one, will using this change the results of my food? And for our first test, we're going with bacon. And for kicks and giggles, I'm going to pull out my five quart cassori as well, just to see if it cooks bacon any differently with no parchment paper. Now let's talk about how to use air fryer parchment paper. First of all, you would never ever want to do this and preheat. That's a big no, no, because you know, there's nothing on here. The fan would just blow it right up into the heating element. So if you're going to preheat your air fryer, leave that parchment paper off to the side. Now, you know I usually don't preheat my air fryers that often, but I'm going to just so we have a fairly accurate baseline for our testing ground. And while that preheats, I just wanna make sure you know that I do have bacon in my recipe book. And there's actually more than 150 recipes in here. It's spiral bound, so it lays nice and flat. And bacon, you know, you don't really need a recipe for bacon. It's just kind of a trial and error, but I've got it here on page 12. And you can learn more about my air fry recipe book at yummyairfryrecipes.com. Okay, 12 pieces of bacon, hot air fryer, parchment paper, and lately I actually do just prefer to cook my bacon in a big blob and then stir it around. But for this test, I will separate them and we'll go with a bacon preset. My sister's air fryer will just get a sheet of regular parchment paper and this one does not have a bunch of room for ventilation so that's what I'm really curious about and hopefully that bacon is heavy enough to hold that paper from flying around. I will check on it in a second here. There we go. And all the rest is right here. What's their bacon? There's not a, oh there is. There's that bacon preset, same time and temp. Okay, first one, it's got two minutes left. Looks like that parchment paper's moving a little bit. Eeks, which reminds me, I better double check this one. Oh, okay, that's okay, nothing's burning. All right, okay, we're good, we're good. Let this guy finish. And this one has five minutes left. Still looking good. Okay, air fryer parchment paper one is done. It looks crispy. Now, if you decide you wanna buy air fryer parchment paper, I link to it at airfryertools.com. This is eight and a half inches and it fits just perfectly in my nine inch Kasori basket. The accessory pack that I bought sent me these smaller ones and I pretty well never use them, but there's lots of shapes and sizes. Just kind of stay within that one inch range with the size of your basket when you go shopping for some. Okay, moment of truth. The regular parchment paper, ooh, okay. It holds a lot of that grease, which I actually prefer the grease dripping down, which did happen with those holes. As far as the cooking results, these definitely look more done than these do. Okay, the five quart is done. No parchment paper and it looks good. Side by side comparison. This was the air fryer parchment paper. This was nothing. They seem to be cooked about the same. And here is the regular parchment paper. Way more greasy, way more dip drippy, but just slightly undercooked compared. There we go. And clean up. Usually I like to just let it kind of dry and then I wipe it out, but I ain't got time for that. I got cookies to bake. 
That parchment paper cleanup, pretty good. And this one, some grease down there at the bottom. It's all mostly right here in that paper. Without the parchment paper, it's definitely a little messier to clean up. This is the one that had the air fryer parchment paper and there's still some cleanup to do. Okay, and about the bacon, do you think they all look exactly the same? Yes. Well, these ones are the, wait. I think this one has like a bit crispier edges, but they look the exact same. Yeah. Have a bite of each and tell me if they taste the same. This is with no parchment paper right here. Tastes good? Mm-hmm. Okay. With the air fryer parchment paper, any difference? This one's softer for sure. Softer, okay. And then this was just the regular parchment paper. Sorry. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, it's it's super greasy. Oh. Uh... I don't know if I want to try this one. Oh, there's so much there's grease. You know what? Fine. This one's more chewy, I feel like. And not as much flavor. So you do not like the one just cooked on regular parchment paper? No. Final result with the bacon. Not much of a difference between no parchment paper and yes, air fryer parchment paper, but the regular parchment paper, thumbs down, soggy bacon. Okay, now we're gonna test cookie dough. Now I have an amazing recipe for cookies on page 223 in my cookbook. I'll also link to the video down below in the description box, but I'm saving time today. So we're just buying the Toll House cookie dough. And normally I do this on a foil sling. It just makes lifting the cookies out of the air fryer easier, but I want to test the parchment paper and we'll just see if the holes really make a difference. Preheated air fryer parchment. Just gonna pop six of these bad boys in here. 320 for eight minutes. And here is just the regular parchment paper. Six cute little cookie doughs. Pop that in. Now the foil sling, you'll see that I actually leave some room on the sides for airflow every time I do the foil sling. Pop it in, 320, eight minutes. Oh my goodness though, I just heard a knock on the door and guess what just got delivered? Booyah, special delivery. Um, new videos coming soon, y'all. Okay, back to business. All right, let's take a peek here because bah, 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 I knew this was gonna happen. Ah, big blob of mush. And you're not happening quite as bad there. That's because that one does not have holes. You'll notice the foil is heavier, so we don't have that blowing it around problem, which is a bonus for the foil. So here's how to solve this problem. You put the parchment in, paper in, then your cookie dough, of course. Then you can get a wire rack and set it right on top. I have to move those little cookie doughs a little bit and that will help it not blow around. So we'll start this batch over. By the way, the key to most baked goods, see how they start to brown on the top? It's keeping that temperature low and then letting it rest for a little bit. Okay, these cookies are done. They're definitely golden brown. So I'm gonna just leave it right here in there and it's off and resting. And this one's done, the foil, they're brown, they held great. I'm gonna let this one rest as well. Okay, these have been resting for a while now. That rack held those down perfectly. They're nice and brown. These are ready and these are ready. Let's give these a taste test. Okay, we've got air fryer parchment, regular parchment, and foil. Okay, these are the air fryer parchment paper cookies. They've been cooling for a good hour. A little drier than I prefer, but very evenly cooked. If you like crispy cookie with a little bit of chewiness, this is your guy. Now the regular parchment paper cookies, they still look good. They seem chewy. A little crumbly. Interestingly, the regular parchment paper cookies feel maybe a little softer on the bottom, and that's probably due to the fact that um, the vents in the air fryer parchment paper just allow for more airflow, so that is crispier on the bottom than the full parchment paper cookies. Does that make sense, what I'm saying? Yeah, these are dried out more. That's strange. And the cookies from the foil, there's the bottom. Let's see how crispy, and more chewy. These are more chewy than the parchment paper ones. How's that cookie? Yummy. Show me, which one did you grab from? I grabbed this one. That one? Mm -hmm. Do you wanna see if you like this one better? Yeah. What do you think? They're really different, but a little bit different. How is it different? This one is like, um. This is the parchment paper, right? Yeah. Yeah, this Chewier. one's more country and this one's like. 
The Not one on the crunchy. foil is less crunchy, a little more chewy. Mm -hmm. For the final test, we're gonna do some frozen chicken wings. Now you'll find the recipe for this on page 106 in my cookbook, and it'll be interesting to see if the parchment paper really helps with the cleanup. Because that's one of the reasons I personally actually love air fryer parchment paper. It just helps with cleanup, especially when I'm making cheesy things that are just not fun to clean up in the air fryer. So I just have this bag of party wings. It's basically 12 big pieces of something. And I've got about four pieces in each air fryer. They're somewhat similar sizes, so hopefully we get a nice good read on that. And we're gonna go 350 for 10 minutes. Now I know a lot of you are also wondering about silicone air fryer mats. I'm not gonna test it out with a side-by-side -side comparison right now, but what I can tell you is that you do always need to apply oil to the silicone because it's not non-stick. And since it's thicker, I'm not sure if it's gonna be a problem with airflow and how it conducts heat. So if you'd like me to do another video comparing this to this, leave a comment down below. All right, the clear winner of the cookies, the foil definitely beat these. All right, the initial defrost process is done. Let's take a look underneath the basket. Just a little bit of juices, but how's this one looking? Zero juices, they are all right there in the parchment paper. And this one? Well, I can't look under there because this one is a tray, not a basket. All right, normally I have a basket full of these wings. I usually just season them with some garlic powder and salt and pepper, but today I'm gonna try this Redmond Real Salt organic garlic pepper mix. And we just wanna get everything coated nicely. Now the recipe says to do 25 minutes at 380 at this point, but since I have so few chicken wings, I'm gonna dial that back down to 20 minutes and I will turn on my shake reminder. Let's do the same for these wings. And by the way, wings really don't need oil because they've got the skin, they've got their own fat. You could also just oil things at the very end if you want a little more crispiness. 20 minutes. And these guys, Want some more seasoning. Oh, and it looks like one of them broke into two pieces, so yay. All right, 380, 20 minutes, I like it. All right, it's been a good 15 minutes. I just wanna take the temperature of these. I'm gonna call these good. So I'm gonna do the last step, which is just throw some barbecue sauce on them. I usually love to do my homemade sauce. That's also in the recipe book, but I'm all out and I didn't wanna take the time to make some right now. So we're just doing the stuff from the bottle. Now this last few minutes, this is where it's all gonna caramelize. And I'm pretty grateful that I have that parchment paper to make it a little less messy. I'm gonna crank this up to 400 and just run it four more minutes. They seem to be doing fairly okay. I do notice this other side is a little less browned than the ones with the air fryer parchment paper. And you'll notice, see this isn't draining now, so I'm just wondering how crispy these are gonna get with all those juices still kind of swarming the chicken. Go ahead and do those final minutes of crispiness. And this one, oh, it's looking gorgeous. You can see these are browning better than full parchment paper chicken. And we'll throw on some sauce, stir that around, and finish that up. Oh boy, look at that mess in the parchment paper. Hello, Nelly. That looks wonderful. It's like all the sides cooked up really nicely. There's still definitely airflow happening with the air fryer parchment paper. And let's see how these guys did. The mess is definitely contained. Um, whoops, a little singeing happening there, but I'm kind of feeling like these are not looking as crispy or even as done. They've been swimming in their mess. And the final air fryer. Oh, sizzling. There we go. I can't really handle eating wings, so got my taste tester here. Air fryer parchment paper, ready? Just have a bite of each. So this is from the air fryer parchment paper. I wanna know about crispiness, mostly. Hmm, that's like a, that's like perfect texture, perfect crispiness, perfect taste, that was perfect everything. Perfect everything, I like that answer. Okay, this one has just a regular parchment paper. Probably not supposed to eat wings with braces, I don't know. Hmm, I don't know, it's a bit softer. But you know, it's still good. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. This one's more crispy by far. Mm -hmm. Like, so this one's like perfect crispiness, and then this one's like perfect crispy crispiness. So, which one's your favorite out of these three? Mm, 
probably the first one. You like the one that had the air fryer parchment paper? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Good to know. Air fryer parchment paper doesn't really seem to alter the taste of the food and just helps with the cleanup process. And you can snag any of the air fryer tools that I use at airfryertools.com. My book is at yummyairfryerrecipes.com. If you want more air fryer tips, they're right here. If you like air fryer food like this kid, check out this video right here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.